Hi, I am Bill Deininger. And I'm Dave Grasskemper. And we're here to talk about the Spring Bird Walk series, <clears throat> sponsored by many organizations, the Cleveland Metro Parks, the Audubon Society, the Natural History Museum. What we do is the last three Sundays in April and the first three Sundays in May, we lead bird walks in about 16 different locations in Northern Ohio. We start at 7.30 in the morning and we go until we're finished. <laughs> it right. depends on how many birds there are, how many people and the weather. Uh, this is a great time of year to come down. Uh, starting in, in mid-April, uh, the migration starts to come uh, up uh, through Ohio and uh, that's when we get the most a variety of species. Starting, uh, starting in mid-April, we'll start getting uh, the blue-green ant catchers, some early thrushes, some early warblers, palm warblers, yellow rumps. And toward the end of April, we start getting um, uh, Baltimore Orioles and some other types of uh, uh, warblers, black-throated green warblers. And by early May, uh, the big thrust comes through. And by uh, early, middle of May, it's uh, the full-blown migration with uh, fly catchers, uh, bunting, uh, vireos, of course, the, the big flow of uh, warblers, as many as... Uh, I suppose 30 varieties mm -hmm. possible of warblers, uh, as well as uh, raptors um, and many other kinds of birds. And it's, a, it's, it's just the best time of year to come down and join us. And, uh, and uh, we love uh, helping people out to find uh, and see the, the different varieties of birds that are coming through. During the spring migration, many birds come up north. Some of them stay here and nest, some of them continue to go up further up into Canada and what we try and do is see as many as we can. There's over 300 different species that are likely to pop in this area and, and we try and see them all. In the spring birds are at their best. They're very active, very colorful, very vocal and we try to take advantage of that and see how many we can observe and see. Um, uh, th that's for the reason uh, which Bill talked about earlier about uh, the length of the walks. There's, there are some days that we'll literally be out four hours the birding is that good uh, I know some of you have maybe joined us on the, our winter walks uh, we'll maybe see 25 30 species uh, on a spring walk on a good day easily get into the 60s 60s or 70s 60 70 yeah. species uh, so uh, be prepared for potentially a, a good long walk uh, if you would like to join us um, but we do hope you come down. It's a, it's a great time of year, and it, and it comes and goes so quickly. Those six weeks just blow by. Uh, uh, every mm -hmm. year we we yes. about how quickly it goes, and how and these birds just come through this this one time of year for a short period of time, and uh, a lot of people don't even recognize these birds are are coming through. Uh, uh, if, if you come down and join us, we'll be able to show you some things maybe you've not seen before, and it's it's always a great time. Again, whether you're a beginner, a part-time, or a seasonal, or a regular bird watcher, come down with us and have some fun. Now, again, this is the 86th year this has been going on, and all these records are stored at the museum or on eBird, so you get an opportunity to check and see what's going on. Please come down and join us. We'd love to have you. Again, it's at about 16 different locations in northern Ohio, so you don't have to necessarily come to the one we're at in Rocky River, but you can go to some other location.